I'm not really sure the best way to do this. I'm trying to film myself and like the other vlog people do. All right, today I'm going to be mixing up the seed for the, I don't know how far to hold this damn thing. I'm gonna be mixing up the seed for the wildflower garden, the ditch garden is what I call it. So, um, let me see if I can flip this around. Ah, not that bad. Um, I'm gonna use this muck bucket, which is normally used for horse shit. And I have my American Meadows. Now, what was this again? One pound. One pound of seed. And then uh, aromatic mix for 200 square feet. This is just from the, from the big box store, Menards. Uh, we get this if it's on sale, but generally we just get the American Meadows stuff, bulk stuff, because there's way more seeds per pound. And this is tube sand. If you're not in a cold climate, uh, tube sand is tube sand is a tube of sand that you use for in back of your truck. You put it on the, over the tires for traction in the winter. Uh, see, I don't know how to get this. Come on, focus on me. Okay, so I got to get this. The sand and the seeds mixed together as good as I can. And that, that just makes it easier to toss and not toss a million seeds in one little spot. Here is the difference between the wildflower mixes. This and cap wildflower aromatic mix. All in one formula, blah, blah, mulch and fertilizer. But this is what you get. I don't know if you can see there's a seed there. There's one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. There's seeds in there. And here is the American Meadows wildflower mix. This is their uh, annual mix. I forget what it, uh, let me see. This is all annual big color there is um, I think there's about a million times more seed in the American Meadows than there is in this and I mean mulch is super cheap you don't want to pay <laughs> pay for mostly mulch and fertilizer. Fertilizer is super cheap as well. If you really want a bunch of flowers, get flower seeds. Um, just seed, not a convenient mix. So there's that. I'm gonna get this, like I said, I got tube sand there, which is 80 pounds of sand. I'm gonna mix both of these and I got one more wildflower uh, bag as well. Um, I'm gonna mix it all together and then I'm gonna wait a couple days. May 1st is, is about when I normally throw the seed so that any, any sprouts that come up, it's generally about two weeks before you get sprouts. Um, I don't want the last frost day is generally May 15th is what they say. Um, so I shoot for that. I think the insurance date where they'll insure seeded crops in Wisconsin, I believe that's April, uh, April 15th, but I don't want to chance it. So 
I will be sewing these uh, May May first, most likely. But I'll get it all mixed up today. I'm on light duty today with with my broken toe, but it already feels a lot better. So, all right. What the hell? Oh, it's a little terrorist cat. Oh, he's got a dead bird. Kitty, not in here. Hey, that cat does not follow the rules. Maisie, it's dead, Kitty. All right. Well, enough of that. I'm gonna get get the seed mix mixed up and put it in some. Put it in a five gallon pail and get ready for planting. Now to mix this stuff. Get a good pile of sand in there. This is the other bag. Wildflower bouquet mix. I'll throw some of that in there. And some of this. Ooh, getting windy. And then what I'm going to do today is go through the ditch garden. I'm not sure how long the ditch garden is. It's probably, it's over 200, well, it's maybe 200 feet long. 100 feet long? I don't know. I'll have to measure it someday. I'm going to go through there today with uh, Roundup. Get out of here, cat. Cat's trying to eat my seeds. Get out of there! Um, I'm gonna go through with Roundup and just spritz stuff that I get out of there, cat. Stuff that I know damned well is uh, weed. And, uh, and any grass. which should be done every year in a garden like this. Um, American Meadows has a, they, you know, they have all the instructions if you want to do a, like a whole field. You, you should till or uh, kill everything and, and till it up, till it shallow and you know, there's some specific instructions for doing a field full of them, but this is a ditch and I do it how the hell I want to. <clears throat> All right, so now I got, oh, 82 pounds worth of seed mix that I'll bucket up. So I gotta go kill the grass in the ditch and I gotta pound in some fertilizer spikes around my fruit trees. I got two apple and and one cherry and I'm hoping to get another two fruit trees in this year. I've had some die. We had a plum that we just got rid of because it was just going crazy getting too big so that's my day. And here's the uh, weeding method. Generally you don't weed in a uh, wildflower garden, but this is what I do. Anything that I know to be a weed, if I get in here early, like grass and some of the more invasive weeds, <coughs> I spray it with glyphosate, glyphosate Roundup. 
early in the year. And then, uh, yeah, like this clover. And I'm using an indicator to show where I've sprayed, so I don't want to be spraying all over the damn place. I believe this is a weed right here. And it really doesn't matter if I, if I do kill something that I don't consider to be a weed, then uh, no big loss. I'm, I'm gonna be throwing the annual seed down here and any perennials, oh, it's getting kind of windy. Any perennials that survive will reseed themselves. And seeds from last year will start coming up as well. So I'll be throwing the seeds in here pretty soon. All right, this is right outside of the, or this is out the shop window. This is the neighbor's land here. And see he's just disking it up. I don't see a cedar on there or anything. He seems to have seems to have an issue with it. Oh yeah, that is a cedar. So, hopefully we got corn going in right there. Speaking of seeds, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm gonna be planting these tomorrow. It's a little sample of my West Pasture mix. And, yeah, it's kind of dark in here. I don't know if you can see it all, but, I think I will plant the, the ditch garden tomorrow, if he's planting. You know, why, why shouldn't I? Okay, that's it for tonight.